Okay, we got another product review. This is the HTRC Smart Charger. Now I did pay for this this unit. When I when I do a product review that I paid for, I just pretty much just briefly go through it. Now if they send this to me, I go into a whole lot deeper detail. I mean, I'll tell you about all the specs and everything on it. But this is something that I bought so I could charge my lithium ion phosphate battery. If you've seen my last video, I got a Power Queen 200 amp hour big battery. And uh, added that to my solar power system. So I needed something to charge it with. First time I charged it with the uh, Renji Rover uh, charge controller. And it didn't seem to charge it all the way up. It charged it up probably about 80%. I'm pretty sure I had it on lithium ion battery. You got to you got to tell the the rover which uh, type of batteries you have. Whether you have flooded uh, lithium ion and tell them what batteries you got in it, so it can charge the the different levels. A lithium ion has a has a higher voltage that you charge on. So this in here will charge 14 plus volts. That's what you need to, to charge it up with. Now this is 12 and 24 volts. Now I've already had this open and I've already used it as a charger and charged it up once and and after I charged it I got over twice the uh, the run time on that battery. First time I ran it down about three hours, the second time I ran it down in six and a half hours. So that was a that was a good uh, good investment I would say. So we'll get that camera over here and we'll take a closer look at this and then we're gonna hook it up over there that uh, we'll hook it up to the power queen and how I'm gonna hook it up. It's all gonna be through the solar panels. I'm not going to plug it into the wall because it's all about getting free power, right? You invest all that money into solar power, you want to use as much uh, much of that solar power as you can without having to pay the utility company. We'll get that camera over here and we'll take a closer look at this. Okay, there's your HTC, there's a HTRC, HTRC smart charger. Now I've looked on eBay. You can get these on Amazon for about $65, or you can get them a much cheaper over on uh, eBay. I got this in for $39. Thought that's a pretty good deal. You got your little clips right there if you want to hook it up permanently. I'm going to leave the alligator clips on mine. This is your little manual. User manual. Tells you all about it. We got the unit here. It's a nice size. Got some nice weight to it. Got built in fan on it. I tell you it's a nice little unit. Got a fly buzz around in here in February. That's crazy. Got a fly buzz around in the garage in February. Okay, there's the. This is the P20. This is where you select on which batteries you want. You got. Got lithium, AMG lead. Life Po 4. And you also got a repair button on it. I thought that was cool. That's another reason why I bought it. For that repair. Now I did one video on the Ancel 
battery checker that thing's a neat little unit but my battery on my Cadillac turned out fine but the the battery on the golf cart was bad well I checked the the water levels in that thing I've never put water in that battery I've had that golf cart for over five years and the batteries was low or the uh, the water was low in it so I put distilled water in it filled it up and I checked it again a while ago and the battery tests a good battery so that's the good news that's a 2017 battery so it's getting old but you want to get as much life out of them batteries as you can but this is your selector right here it's uh you look at the manual here to tell you it's all the way over on 10 and 20 amp now if you're running 24 volts you're going to get 10 amps out of it if you're running 12 volts you're going to get 20 amps out of it or on the other side you got 3 amps and 5 amps that's kind of like a trickle tr a trickle charger and this thing lights up and I mean it's I like the, the screen on it well we'll get this hooked up here in a minute and show you the screen on it I like the detail screen on it's the reason why I got it I wanted a smart charger where I could uh, I would know that my lithium ion batteries lithium lithium ion phosphate them uh, power queen batteries was charged up completely you want to charge them all the way up as far as they'll go and then you have all kind of hours that you can run them down okay and the rest of the box over here you got we've got the power cord and it's it's a long power cord it's like close to 10 foot you got your clamps on there I was impressed with these clamps right here nice and strong yeah they're making good clamps anymore good strong spring now even though I bought this item I'm still gonna give you what I think about it if I, th if I think it's junk well I'm gonna tell you about it but I like the fact that you you can plug this in you can you can put that in a small little bag and then put the little the little cords in the a side pocket or something that's cool the way they have that work you just plug it in and then these then these clamps right here and they plug in over here on the other side plug in on that side Got little rubber feet on the bottom of it. I have it sitting on my shelf like this. It's about eye level and it perfect. What I need drop beside one of my power converters. Thousand watt power converter, it's a pure sine wave. And it's connected to the Power Queen 200 amp hour battery. Perfect little setup. Let's go hook this thing up. Okay, this go to 14.6 volts. So we're going to run over there and we're going to get this thing plugged in, turned on, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we've got the smart charger hooked up. There's the Power Queen battery there in the background. It's connected up on the top post up there. See how that little battery indicator shows you how how full the, the charge is. It's pretty cool.
it's right next to the right next to the power inverter here I'll turn that on I ain't gonna have nothing running on it but them three pieces right there get you 120 volt pure sine wave now how I have this connected the uh, smart charger is plugged in to my power inverter it's the cord right here and it's all all these are running off a of lead acid battery so see that bumps up your your voltage to the 14 volts that you need to charge the power queen these rovers right here didn't give me the charge that I was looking for didn't charge up that power queen like it should have I'm gonna try it again I'm not gonna give up on it because I am gonna eventually get some more of these power queen batteries okay the switch right here is what switches between your batteries right now it's on right now it's on lithium ion phosphate click it over there for repair this is lithium battery I'm not gonna leave them on there very long but that was for lead acid and this is back on that was on lithium ion phosphate battery yeah that thing didn't just jump up there I've already had this thing almost all the way charged and it finally figured out where it was at it should be around 80% charge right now it's charging our last 20% you can see on the battery scale there yeah I was going to use this to repair the battery on the golf cart but it checked out with this little battery tester this little Ancel battery tester it showed it to be good and all I did was put a uh, little bit of water in it okay we're gonna let that run for a while let that thing charge up until we're gonna let it run until close to sundown I'm sure I hope it'll be done by then but that's a nice little charger I really like it 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 gives you gives you a good idea where your battery's at without it you don't have no idea so like I say uh, if this was sent to me I would have went through so much more information on this I went to so many more details on it but being as I paid for this year and I just want to give it a quick little uh, product review I mean if, it, if there's something I'm gonna buy and I like it I'm gonna do a product review on it that's what this channel's all about yeah if you do your homework you do a little research on it it's like that power queen battery there's that power queen battery it's so high up here I had to pull it up I had to lift it off the off the tripod but all my lead acid batteries are all doing good they're all back up to running just fine but I kind of like to have a, a separate system like this where it's uh, you could run one yeah I got my got my blue eddy down here way down there right next to the dirty right next to the dirty generator this is the blue eddy there 
I stuck it down there, got it out of the way. That way I have plenty of room on this shelf to put tools or checkers and all that kind of stuff on there. Wrenches and have a lot more room on the shelf here. Okay, that that's the Okay, that's the HTRC P20 smart battery charger. You can pick up one of them on Amazon or you can get a cheaper version. It's not any cheaper, it's just cheaper in price over on eBay. That's what I do when I'm getting ready to buy a product. Find out what I want, put it into put it into a search engine, Google it, or whatever. Go to Amazon and then go to eBay, find a cheaper price for it. Exact same product at a different, at a better price. Alright, we're going to close this video and thanks for watching.